and running for the homeless. Action News Now reporter Danny Mastin shows us the progress and what's next. Take a look, you can see behind me here, crews are hard at work prepping for the office building that will be located here on site at the pallet shelter. With all 177 shelters built, homeless staying at places like Comanche Creek are anxious for opening day. It's definitely a blessing for the community to be looking out for us like that. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about it. Crews still have to finish up a few things like the administrative office. Workers were prepping the area for the office building Friday morning. It will have four offices, a kitchen, and two bathrooms. And that will kind of act as the intake uh, portion of the facility um, too. So we're prepping that now and hope to have the portable office trailer uh, delivered and installed next week. Crews also worked on restoring water access to the site. For potable water uh, and reestablishing the connection to the brick and mortar restrooms that are currently on site. Um, so we're working on prepping pads for you know drinking fountain and, and water faucets and spigot. Director for Chico Public Works Eric Gustafson is happy with the progress but says more work needs to be done. Our objective is to really have the site ready to be opened uh, by the end of February and, and March 1 and then once those uh, you know, the administrative functions as far as the site rules and outreach and engagement and those processes are established and agreements are made, then we'll be able to open. I did reach out to the Jesus Center and they tell me they are still working out all the details of what the rules will be on site. Reporting in Chico, Danny Mastin, Action News Now coverage you can count on. Chico Public Works says it has had people come to the site to check it out, but it wants to remind people that the Pallet Shelter site is an active construction area and they can't have people coming on there and wandering around at the moment. The shelter is on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard near Costco.